say you know you when you're going to a bar or something, you know, pop that in your in your in your bag and then you've got a soft shell as well. That's a nice little style piece as well. You've got pants to match that as well. Come down This is the first price leather jacket we've got. So this is a $299, it's Brazilian Monaco leather. And you can see here how dense and heavy that leather is as well. Again, it's got seat protectors on the elbows and shoulders. In terms of testing, we do lots of testing now. So for instance, on fabrics like these uh, motorcycle fabrics and leathers, we do testing for abrasion resistance, we do tear strength, we do colour fastness, colour fastness to light to make sure it doesn't fade in the sunlight, colour fastness to rubbing to make sure the dye doesn't come off on, on your t-shirt, your white t-shirt or your skin, we do colour fastness to cleaning as well. So we've got a really thorough, robust quality assurance process going in now as well. So with this jacket, so it's our first price point, but still it's got things like zip out liners, here you've got like stretch panels as well. Putting a lot of these adjustability in as well to this jacket, so I'll show you what I mean. So if you're thinking about our bikes and how you ride, so if you're stretching out for your bars, you've got action backs across here, you've got stretch Kajura underneath your armpit, just makes it less bulky and more comfortable. And actually when you're sitting down, when you've got your relaxed abs and your belly comes out, you've got like an expansion panel here so it's more comfortable. It stops the jacket from bunching up around the bottom of your helmet. Our top of the range leather jacket, it's called the Attitude Jacket. Again it's a Brazilian Monaco leather. It's got a 3M coating on it as well, water repellent coating. This one's a bit more aggressive, so it's got the more exposed zips, um, ventilation in, it's got that same sort of thing about the stretch panels underneath the arms, ventilation up here as well. On here we don't have an action back, but we have something called power stretch. So again, stretch panels there so you can reach the bars nice and comfortably. On the back, big 3M night reflective uh, Victory logo. And you can see inside here as well, you've got a hoodie that it comes with. Well, nice. yeah, there you go. Once the ladies, what we've done with ladies, we haven't just shrunk down men's jackets, we're actually done with ladies' cuts. So, if we've, we've got a man's jacket there, we've got a ladies' version of it. All the cutting lines are feminine now, so it's cut for a bust, it's cut for a fit. We've also done extended sizes in some of the ladies' jackets, we do it down to plus sizing as well. And with our demographic can be slightly old, older so with plus sizing it means it's wider on the hips bigger on the chest and even on the men's jackets we go up to 5xl in some of those jackets wow that's a lot of cow so <laughs> serious <laughs> uh, then casual wear we've redone all of our casual wear now you might think a t-shirt is just a t-shirt but in terms of the fabrics before we even make it into a t-shirt we do five uh, sorry ten laboratory tests on it to test the fabric before we use it so the scenes like uh, dimensional stability, which, which is um, in layman's language means does it shrink or does it stretch? Um, we do colour fastness to, to washing, colour fastness to light, and we do um, the weight of the fabric, we do pilling, so we do a rubbing test to make sure it doesn't all fluff up. Um, we do pH test to make sure it's not irritable in the skin, we test it to make sure it's formaldehyde free. I'm not sure how many tests I'm up to there, but I think that's almost all of them. Um, so we've done a, quite a big range of t-shirts. We've changed also things like the way we print. So before, a lot of cheap t-shirts have what's called a plastisole print on. So when you touch the outside of the fabric, you feel like a plastic uh, print on here. But most of our t-shirts now, we're, uh, we're using discharge. And what it means is, you actually discharge the dye out of the t-shirt before you then put a pigment on. So what that means is you get a nice, soft hand feel. Colours are a little bit more subtle as well, so you don't get that really strong colour, but you get the much nicer hand feel. It doesn't feel different than the actual exactly. fabric. Exactly, yeah. 
we're doing things like this as well. This, this is using what's called a slub jersey, slightly more trendy fabric. And what slub means is that the yarn goes thick and thin, so when it's knitted together to be a fabric, you get this sort of vintage feel to it. And this one's got what's called an applique, so this is a felt applique and print. We've gone into all the details now, so whether it's back and neck taping, or all the labelling, or little side seam logos, you know, we're going to town on everything. Just trying to think, what else can I show? Get a good little baby clothes. Yeah, yeah. baby clothes, ladies' clothes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that actually failed a shrinkage test. It was about this big originally. Yeah. You want to talk about the displays a little bit in terms of like um, what, in terms of what the retail display? Yeah, the retail display in terms of supporting the dealers, and how it's designed. Yeah, I, th I think we can see the best products in the world, but unless it's displayed in the right way in dealer stores, so, you know, we're going to lose the message. So what we come up for this season is, well, whilst we're changing everything, logos, apparel, new bikes, um, what else have we changed? We just seem to have changed everything. We've also done retail store. So the retail store is actually quite simple. I mean, I think the basis to it are two elements. It's the big V Beacon logo here and the graffiti walls. The graffiti walls are just using quite, quite a, um, <coughs> a proprietary system, which is this pump system. So standard conditions that dealers are already using, but the effect is really good. It's subtle. It's not too strong. It's not overly branded. I think it's pretty cool. Can have a positive effect on their sales. So they get something like a 18 months interest free loan on this, and then for every bike they, they sell, they get 250 towards the cost of the display. It's to pay for. So the more bikes they sell, the quicker they get it paid for. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal for them. Questions? Comments? I mean, I mean, coming from Triumph, what was the biggest? challenge that you saw and what was the biggest opportunity what made you yeah. say yeah that said okay I'm, I'm coming here I think the biggest challenge was the starting place and that also can be seen as, as an opportunity as well but we were starting from quite a low base and uh, I think dealer confidence was pretty low very critical of what we've done before uh, availability was a key issue that needed to be addressed as well. So we've invested a lot now with this new collection and we got availability and we hold stock as well. Because I think it's quite tough to say to a dealer, please give me an order, I want you to stock up 10,000, 5,000, whatever it is, but we're not prepared to hold stock. That's, I think that's the wrong attitude. So we need to be able to support the dealer stock as well. So I think from the, starting, from the first starting point, it was a challenge to look at that. But I think we've overcome almost every negative that a dealer give, has given to us because we've only had positive comments from the show. It's been absolutely incredible. Yeah. And in terms of opportunity, um, without talking negative in the past, this company has, has got, uh, is very ambitious, wants to move fast, and is prepared to invest, and invest at different levels as well. So I've been on board for nine months doing this collection. So between Victory and India, we brought to market 140 uh, items in that time. And every time I needed resources to do it, or needed some support, all I got was yes, and, and got, got the resources. And even when I started, they asked me to do, to do a business plan. Plan A was the business plan, and plan B was how to do it fast, uh, twice as quick. So, mm -hmm. well, I don't think you can ask for more from that. And you and um, functionality. You think you that was one of the things you were talking about? How highly functional the gear yeah. is now. Yeah. Is that was that a is that a big change over yes. years past? Yeah, I think before we had product that might have looked like a recycled product, but now we really have the real deal. Yeah, it's not a fashion product. This stuff is to be sold in dealerships. It's to be used by riders. You know, we've taken a decision, particularly um, with the protective armor. We put it in every jacket now. 
you know, hardly don't do that. We take the decision as a responsible manufacturer to do that. All of our seams, well, not sorry, most of our seams are impact seams. What that means is that they're double, uh, treble stitched. So if you go down the road, you take the first layer off, there's still going to be an integral seam underneath. We've got lots of double layer leather panels on there as well. All the fabrics, as I say, are all motorcycle grade fabrics. So quite serious about protection, about safety. Yeah, it's not looking like it's done. You know, that's pretty important because I've 